Shit. I was pretty sure it did. I was pretty confident that was the one. See, I always get that one confused with the other one. Why are you guys doing this weird circle? Nobody likes your weird circle. I love a push pin though. And a baby bottle pop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Good thing you just decided to hold up for me. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put my tears up in it. Oh. I look so tiny. Yeah, I shrunk myself super tiny. Yes, Pact does give two soul hearts. So does the other one. The other little brimmy majigger. Hey, Beaner Man. Them co carnage subs. I love the co carnage. I don't ever get to watch his stream, but I like him as a person. I've. Gotten to sit with him and chat a few times. He's a, a very interesting man. Yeah, that's the one. The other Burmy thing. That's what I said. I'm your favorite streamer? Man, you need to follow some more streams, because there's some really good ones out there. This stream is trash. People tell me all the time in my Twitch messages. All the time. It's gotta be true. Maybe you like trash? I mean, maybe. Maybe you're in love with a stripper. A stripper, a stripper. I've been streaming for 47 minutes. Unsuccessful minutes, I might add. What's up with this one punch game? Is it a, I, someone said it was a fighting game, but I, I tried to look at it today, but my daughter wanted to eat dinner, so I made dinner instead. Is it actually a fighting game? Because I just saw Cobalt like buying things in a store and I was like, ooh, I like shopping. Because I don't like fighting games. If I gotta like mash buttons and com wombo combo things, I don't want to play that. But if it's like store simulator, I'm in on that. It's more of a resource management game? I like resource management games. Yeah, there's another tinder rock, but I'm out of bombs, you see. Yep. Yep. I don't remember what it's called. It's got punch in the title. You shit brick. So I don't have to do any up, up, down, B, left, right, uppercut, get over here kind of stuff. Because I'm sh so shit at fighting games. Like, the worst. I also can't dodge bullets. Well, now I don't care to dodge bullets. He already took my soul hearts away. Did you fucking die already? Jesus Christ. All that for fucking blackface.
Where was my other tinted rock? Ah, oh, there she blows. Yeah, the item is racist. It's intentionally racist. Don't blame me. Blame Edmund. It's totally blackface. It's blackface baby. Tumblr's going to shut me down. That would be the most exciting thing that happened on our stream in a long time. Wait, isn't Tumblr the one for fucking? Why are they shutting me down? Not enough fucking. The fights are based off your fighting skills in real life? Oh man, blind rage. That's my fighting technique. I'm a bite of years. So many years. <laughs> That's Tinder? Oh, damn it. I always get those two confused. They sound the same. They, they both have a T in it and an R. Practically the same website. Wait, isn't one an app? And one a website? God darn it! I don't like the, the app one, because they always tell the kitties to left swipe us smokers. And us smokers need love, too. You don't have to kiss us, it's fine. They're both websites that have an app? That's too extreme for me. I don't have any apps on my phone either. Well, that's not true. I have Hearthstone. Ooh. I wish I could afford both. I mean, technically I could. It's not worth onking, is it? Yeah, for funsies. What's the worst thing that happens? We die again? Oh no! Is that Rockley? Coming in hot? So hot. So Rockley. Oh, well, that was only a little weird. It's one thing to flirt with Cobalt Streak, but Rockley... He doesn't seem like he's into me. Rock time. I like the just generic... Something about rocks! A best raid message. Unguided rock raid. Can you smell? Even if Rockley isn't raiding me, um, follow Rockley anyway. Someone link him. He's pretty. And quite smart. I'm a bit jealous. I'm a big dumb idiot. They added Cobalt though to NLSS at least one day a week, so now I don't feel like the whole show is too smart for me. I think it was a great move on their part. <laughs> oh, it's amazing that anyone talks to me. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, Cobalt. <laughs> I'm wearing slippers today, chat. And 
this is important because normally I wear shoes all the time. But I decided I would try these slippers that Cobalt bought for Grizz. Because I don't have any clean socks because I'm too lazy to do my laundry. And you can't wear shoes without socks. That's fucking disgusting. They're, they're alright. They're not terrible. I mean... I wouldn't say I'm a slipper fan after one wear, but... They're not the worst thing I've ever had on my feet. Whoops. I don't jizz in clean socks. That would be so wasteful. It really... Some people still just don't get it. Thank you for the host as well, Rockley. And welcome, Raiders. I'm Richard Hammer. I uh, have a really shitty stream here on Twitch. We usually talk about the worst things you can. All the great topics you're not supposed to talk about on Twitch. Welcome. I play Isaac in other games. We're going to play XCOM soon because, you know, everybody's given me a great excuse to play more XCOM. Yeah, yeah. You can call me Dick, but I mean, I'm being formal. Hobbles. I'm trying to sound somewhat professional. We got raided by Serious Business Rockley Smile. I gotta pretend like I care about my stream. I do care a lot about my stream, I just can't help who I am, which is a shitty scumbag. We have talked about... We've had many a stream about foreskin. But it's a serious, it's a serious topic that affects males everywhere. Amnesia. I don't see why how streamers have any other topic, to be honest. I don't think it's that bad, Hoffman. I think it's fun. It's a lot more fun than... I like it because it's a good difficulty that's that's fun to play. Impossible wasn't a fun difficulty in my in my opinion. Impossible was just slow as balls. You had to play way too fucking serious. So I really like Long War. It gives you it gives you a better difficulty than the base game had. A shitload more content. And it's really fun to play. One man cobalt raid. Uh oh. I hope it is literally one man. Because we did just kind of, you know, we, we said what we said, the thing. Foreskin nightly with Richard Hammer. I'm working on my second millimeter of regrowth. Pretty exciting. Dude, it ain't easy growing it back. It's a lot of tugging and stretching. There's multiple men now? I'm not sure if these are just people claiming to come from a Cobalt. Either way, Cobalt Streak, he's fucking... He's Cobalt Streak. You, you know him, you love him. If you're not following him, you're probably just a douche. I'm kidding. I still like you even if you don't follow Cobalt Streak. But you should because he's done wonderful things for my cast and helped me survive here on Twitch. So if, if if you enjoy my show, you could do him the favor of, you know, one follow. It doesn't cost you anything. 
You have to see him go live every day at 6. Not that big of a deal. Because he really has done a lot for me. What's my favorite cereal? It's a hard question, man. Are you talking dry or wet? Or both? Like a cereal... Because some cereals have the... Like Frosted Mini Wheats, for example. Um, honeycombs, for example. Top tier cereals because they're so great wet or dry. They don't require one way or another. Reese's Puffs are another good one, wet or dry. But Reese's Puffs get your hands dirty. Lose some points there for peanut dust. Down, down. Honeycombs are amazing dry, and they're good wet, but they're amazing dry. Recently, I've become a huge fan of multigrain Cheerios, which they sound fucking disgusting, but they're the sweetest Cheerio on the market, I swear. They're sweeter than the honey ones. Milk or cereal first? That's not a question. I don't I don't know why people ask that. That that question doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> this is clearly only one answer. The cereal first. Why in the what kind of dumbass puts his milk in first? This is stupid. The stupidest thing I've ever heard. Dump my milk in here. Eggs again, it depends on what we're having. Are we just having eggs, standalone eggs? Are we having eggs with a side? What's the side? Pancakes? Toast? Meat? A burger? It really depends. Um, I would say over easy usually wins out for most of the time for me. If, if I'm having nothing with the eggs, then I usually do an omelet or scrambled. They're practically the same thing. That's way too much work. What do you just carry the box around with you? And add as you want it. Okay, that's the like the best at least the best excuse I've heard for why you put your milk in first, but it's still not a very good excuse. Unless you're one of those real uppity folks who don't eat their cereal once it gets soggy. <sighs> Gross, it's gotten soggy. So many cereal so not so well. Quite a few cereals are better soggy than they are dry. Like, dude, Frosted Mini Wheats? That shit can be straight mush. It's still delicious. It's always got that little grainy texture to keep it from being, you know, like Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles. Those are shit mush. Just gross. It's like eating a bowl of slime. How goes the runs? Um, we're gonna pretend like this is the first run of the night. Spectral Parasite Dust Touch. Uh, we're not spectral. We have push pins, so every once in a while we're spectral. Cookie Crisps, I don't like at all, personally. I think they're gross. They leave a really weird slime on the roof of your mouth. I don't know what it is, but I don't want any of it. I could do without ever eating cookie crisps again. There's options. So many options. Cookie crisps aren't cookies.
Do I like Lucky Charms? I mean, eh. Lucky Charms aren't really anything special. I'm not a big on the, like, overly sugary fake fruit cereals, like Trix and stuff like that. Trix yogurt is heavenly. But Trix cereal? Eh. Least favorite type of cookie. Least favorite type of cookie without milk? Any hard cookie. My teeth are made of butter, so I can't eat hard cookies. You know what I do like, though? Which is kind of considered... I don't know if it's considered a ghetto cookie. I always thought it was kind of a ghetto cookie. Um, windmill cookies. Like an old person cookie or a ghetto cookie. One or the other. However you want to look at it. Either way. I like windmill cookies. Hey, Jester. Look at my balls. They are so pretty. What's my fourth favorite Toothpaste brand to have before freshly squeezed orange juice? Well, Wet for Jesus, I have only had the same toothpaste since I was about 20 years old. I got super into extreme couponing, and I've got like... a hundred and something bottles of Sensodyne, so I don't remember what other toothpaste tastes like anymore. Uh, the toothpaste has been expired for like four years, but I still use it. It seems fine. I mean, I got like 150 bottles of it, so I'm not going to waste it. It was free. Well, I paid tax on it. It cost me like $8 to get 150 tubes of Sensodyne for free. Then, again, not free because tax. But. I also got a fuck ton of Lady Leg Razors, if you're interested. You think it does expire. Dude, I was totally into Extreme Coupon and got super serious about it. I was driving, like hours to stores that we didn't have locally so I could rob them blind of their toothpaste and I would get shit that expired like I got like 84 bottles of peroxide peroxide doesn't last that long it loses its bubbly I didn't know this but peroxide expires and just becomes like water so that was a waste whoops Yeah, that's why I got Lady Leg Razors, a shitload of them for nothing, but my ex-wife whined about them. No, they, they're not very good, but they're free! Think of the money we would save if you never bought another razor! Oh god, oh god. What do you do with 84 bottles of peroxide? I was hoping I was going to have peroxide for the rest of my life. That was my goal going into that target. Actually, I went into four targets to steal all their peroxide. I mean, I didn't technically steal it, but I paid tax. What else did I get? Oh, tons of shampoo and soaps and lotions. I could fucking beat off three or four times a day for the next 60 years and still have lotion left over. Yeah, but they're free, Leslie. I mean, they're free. 
how do you extreme coupon? You buy things in, in ex such an excessive bulk that they go bad before you can use them. Where did I keep? I, I had a whole closet dedicated to it. I've burned through most of it. My wife sold a bunch of it in garage, garage sales. Like, lotion sells pretty good in garage sales. We made decent money. Not decent money, but it was better than having a shitload of lotion. We made money. I guess that's the point, right? has nothing to do with my dry, mortified, whatever you're calling my wang. Dude, people buy everything at garage sales. Everything. People do want lotion. They're like, ooh, this smells nice. It's only a dollar. It would have been like five in the store, bitch. Get on it. But it was a fucking BOGO and I had coupons! God, do I love a BOGO. Buy one, get one, true boy. That's the key to extreme couponing. Buy one, get one. Key. Use in-store coupons matched with manufacturer coupons on a BOGO. Shit's free. Literally. Well, again, taxes. But that's irrelevant. Pennies. Shit becomes pennies. I don't know, because that's the way we call... That's what we call them here in Michigan. I'm, BOGO's been an acronym for a long time. Are you a wizard? To anyone who fucking shops. None of that stacks up there? That sucks, kill the monk. Oh, we got a shitload of baby stuff, too. When my wife was pregnant... Before my wife was pregnant. Just in case, we need a shitload of stuff. Wipes for days. I used them for years before we had a kid. Because a wet wipe is nice for an adult, too. They're not just for babies. And I like it when my tushy smells like powder. Fresh powder. Yeah, there's still some stores that do uh, double coupon days. I used to have to drive to Indiana for double coupon days, but it was totally worth when I'd get like 34 boxes of cereal. There's no way you can eat 34 boxes of cereal before they go bad, but they were free. So I'd just give them to people. And it was always shitty cereal, like regular Cheerios. I don't even eat regular Cheerios. <laughs> It just becomes an obsession. You try to see how much shit you can get for free. You try to see how... How much money you can save on shit you don't actually need. Baby wipes aren't nasty. They're wonderful and they make your butt feel great. Everything is better when it's free. Free food is like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I don't care how you pronounce pronounce coupons. I know how I pronounce coupons. I also say pop. 
Not soda. Um, and roof like a dog. I apologize. I hope it doesn't make it so you can't watch my stream anymore. I wipe sitting down because I can reach my butt without standing up. I have no need to stand. What's with these homies this in my girl? I fold. I'm an extreme couponer. Well, to be honest, I had a shitload of toilet paper at one time. I could have wadded for years. Um, but I fold because I'm not a fucking scumbag who hates trees. And not only do I do I fold, I have taught my daughter that she has to fold. Like, none of this fucking grab a wrap it around your hand bullshit. When I'm staying at Cobalt's, I can't help but notice the extreme amount of toilet paper he uses. Hey, but he admits it, he just fucking wraps it around his hand like it's a glove. Makes a fucking shittin'. Toilet paper is expensive. I was poor growing up. And many, many times we did not have toilet paper. So I did not waste it. Yeah, Cobalt makes a glove with his toilet paper. It's a fucking talent. And he buys that toilet paper that's like... Top tier. Like the shit you get in the bathroom with a guy with a towel. What's that guy called? Is that a is there a name for that job? The guy that stands in the bathroom and like gives you a towel? That kind of toilet paper. I don't even know where you get luxury toilet paper like that. Some sort of weird rich people store. title of that job, chat? I thought for sure you would have had me covered by now. Bathroom attendant? That's not a cool title. It's gotta have a sweet title. Wet for Jesus, are you still here? Because I was watching porn the other day and multi I was looking at some site, I don't remember what, but multiple videos in the title it said, come shotgun or jizz shotgun, one or the other, and I thought, aww Wet for Jesus would totally name his dick the cum shotgun. So, just so you know, I thought about you while I was having a wank. I'd never seen that in a, in a porn title before. I've seen some weird shit, but... Multiple videos on this site all had the title. I think it was Jizz Shotgun, because that seems more like Weddy. Either way, Shotgun. <laughs> Why Shotgun? Why not a rifle? Why not just say Dick? You're never going to get video hits with titles like Come Shotgun.
become Zuka? No, no. <laughs> Devil Trader, when I was married, my wife bought shit toilet paper as well. I feel your pain, brother. I feel your pain. I mean, I didn't watch it, Weddy. I'm sorry. I'm very particular with my pornography. And I'm not usually not looking for videos titled Cum Shotgun or whatever it was. What toilet paper do you recommend? I've personally been uh, going with the quilted, quilted Northern Ultra Plush because I live alone now and I don't let Pace to use my toilet paper because he's not worthy and I can afford it because I very, very rarely use more than two squares of toilet paper because I'm a grown ass man who can take care of his business. Not to mention I can fucking wipe my ass with an origami what are those swan? Just keep folding, man. Just keep folding. I don't worry about how pasty wipes his ass. 